Question number 23, we are told the equation of a curve is y is equals to 2x cubed plus 3x squared. Part A, find the x-intercept of the curve. And you get two marks. So, what you need to understand here is that the y-intercept is where the graph cuts the x-axis. So, if we say that is our x-axis, y-axis, this is our x-axis, the point where, for example, if we say it is this point where the graph cuts the x-axis, that is the x-intercept. So you can see at that point, the value of y is 0. So this means that uh, at x-intercept, in y is equal to 0, uh, and therefore we can equate 2x cubed uh, plus 3x squared is equal to 0. Uh, so we can get uh, this is a cubic function uh, equation so we can factor out x squared and we will be left with 2x uh, plus 3 is equals to 0 this means that uh, x is equals to x squared is equals to 0 or uh, 2x plus 3 is equals to 0 we say that because when you multiply two two numbers or two uh, factors, you get you multiply x squared times what is inside the bracket. Then one 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 of them must be equals to zero, and therefore this means that x is equals to you get the square root of both sides, uh, square root of x squared and square root of x uh, zero is zero. So x is equals to zero, or in this we take three to the other side it becomes minus and we divide by 2 so it means our x is equals to uh, we say it is minus 3 over 2 so that is uh, where the graph cuts the x axis and by doing that you get yourself uh, 2 marks in Roman number 2 we are told to find uh, the y intercept Again, I, if I may demonstrate, uh, if this is our y and this is our x, uh, the y-intercept is where the graph cuts the, the y-axis. Let's say it is there. So you can see at that point, x is equal to 0. And remember, our equation was, or our function was, y is equal to, uh, we have uh, 2x cubed, uh, plus 3x squared. So that was our function. And therefore, at uh, y-intercept, uh, so y-intercept, uh, x is equal to 0. So we substitute here in our, in our function here. So x, you substitute 0 there and 0 there. So you find that 2 multiplied by 0 cubed is 0, so that you give us 0 plus 3 times 0 squared, that will give us 0. So our y is equal to 0. So that is the y-intercept, and you get uh, 1 mark. Part B, Roman number 1, we are told to determine the stationary points of the curve. So remember, our curve was uh, y is equal to 2x cubed uh, plus uh, 3x squared. First of all, we must understand the stationary point is where it are the turning points. Or if I may put it here, if we put uh, uh, that is our y, ax y axis and this is our x axis. So if we say our graph uh, looks like this, uh, so this is the turning point. So, so that is the turning point. Uh, and the gradient at that point, if you draw a line touching the turning point, it will be a straight line or parallel to the x-axis. And the, uh, the gradient of a line parallel to the x-axis is equal to zero. This means uh, we, can, uh, we can get the gradient by saying, uh, differentiating dy over dx is equal to 2 times 3, that will give us 6x squared. We minus 1 from uh, from 3, uh, or index 3, plus we multiply 2 times 3, that will give us 6. We minus 
uh, 1 from 2, we get 6x. So this means, uh, what it, since this is a gradient, it means that uh, at, uh, at stationary point, uh, at uh, stationary point, uh, point uh, dy over dx is equal to 0. And you can see this is a cubic function, so it means uh, it has uh, uh, several turns. Uh, therefore, uh, what since our dy is, uh, dy is equal to 6x squared plus 6x, so it means that uh, our 6x squared uh, plus a, uh, 6x is equal to 0. Uh, we can factor out 6x. Uh, so inside the bracket, we will be left with, uh, here we will be left with x, here we will be left with 1 is equal to 0. So it means 6x is equal to 0 or uh, x uh, plus 1 is equal to 0. And with that, we can now say, if you divide here both sides by 6, uh, 0 divided by 6 is 0, so it means our x is equal to 0. Or, in this case, we take 1 to the other side, it becomes negative one it, once it crosses the equal sign, and therefore x or x is equal to minus 1. So these are the stationary points, uh, and therefore, uh, when you substitute, uh, you can substitute x is equal to 0 in our function. Uh, so x is equal to 0, you find y here 2 times 0 cubed plus 3 times 0 cubed will give you 0. So y is equal to 0. Uh, if you substitute x is equal to 1, uh, this will give us uh, 1 cubed is 1, 1 uh, cubed uh, squared is 1. So this is 2 plus 3, uh, 2 plus 3 and that should give us uh, 5. So uh, y is it, uh, no, here we, we substitute uh, minus 1, not 1. So this will be uh, minus 1 cube, cubed is uh, minus 1 uh, times 2 is minus 2. Here x squared is 1 times 3. So it, uh, that will give us 3. So minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. So y is equal to uh, 1. Therefore, our turning points our turning point we can say it is uh, so here y is equal to uh, 0 and here y is equal to uh, is equal to 1 so our turning points are 0 0 and the other one is uh, uh, we have when we have minus 1 y is 1 so those are our turning points and by doing that you get yourself 3 marks so Roman number 2, we are told, for each point in B Roman 1 above, determine whether it is a maximum or a minimum. Uh, so what this means is uh, we are required to find out. Uh, we have already, we, know, we already know our function is equal to uh, 2x, uh, that is 2x cubed uh, plus uh, 3x squared. Uh, we also know our dy over dx is equal to 6, uh, that is, uh, this is supposed to be cubed, 6x squared uh, plus 6x. So that is our function. So to find the, whether it is maxima or minima, uh, we have already found our turning points. Our turning points are minus 1 and 1 and uh, uh, zero, zero. So what is expected from you to find whether it is maxima? Maximum is when, when our turning point is of this nature, that is inside out, our, mi our minima is of this nature. We can combine them. So this is a, a minima and uh, that is uh, that point and this is maxima. Uh, so, uh, how do we find that? We are going to take one point, that is uh, this point, and uh, you are required to find the gradient, the gradient maybe one point to, to, to the left. So, if we say this is our Cartesian plane, and uh, we know our turning point, maybe we can put that one, that is 1, and that is uh, minus 1, 
uh, that is our x is minus uh, we know our turning point here so we find <coughs> the gradient uh, of the uh, at one point so we can take maybe this is our x this is a uh, maybe we can take minus two and we look at uh, the nature of the gradient whether it is positive or negative so we can take uh, minus two so we come here and say <coughs> that x is equal to minus two we substitute in our gradient here so this is a six uh, multiplied by two squared uh, multiplied by not uh, this is a uh, two that our our minus two which is squared and then we had plus our six multiplied by minus two six multiplied by minus two and that will give us this will be four uh, that uh, times six that is twenty four uh, uh, and this will be minus twelve uh, that uh, that is uh, this will be m six multiplied by minus two that will give us minus twelve and this will give us uh, is equal to 12. So we can say uh, the gradient here is positive and the nature of the gradient is uh, of this form. Uh, when it is negative uh, the gradient is take that shape. Uh, then we take uh, one point and because our turn, uh, the other turning point is at zero zero we can take uh, uh, maybe minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 so we substitute in our gradient and when you do that you say uh, this is a 6 multiply by we can use a dot to make it a bit simpler uh, 0 0.5 uh, that dot implies multiplication and that is squared and you add to 6 multiply by minus 0 0.5 uh, when you compute this this will give you uh, 1.5 and this is uh, will give you three that is a uh, minus three uh, so this is equals to 1.5 uh, minus three uh, is equals to minus three divided by two or, or uh, one point minus 1.5 that is negative so this is a uh, negative here it is positive so we have a uh, we can now complete and say so then we have our turning point the nature of a negative gradient is that uh, looks like that so what it means is that this is a uh, this is a uh, the nature of this point is maxima then we look at the other point the other po turning point is zero uh, zero at zero zero and uh, we want to look at the nature we have uh, we so here we take uh, at zero zero we can take minus uh, 0 0.5 which we have found uh, that the gradient here which we have worked out here the gradient is negative so at minus uh, 0 0.5 uh, dy over dx is is uh, is negative is negative so the nature of a negative gradient looks like that uh, that is negative gradient then we have the turning point at zero zero uh, so the other one is we look at the gradient since we are at zero what turning point is at zero zero what, what about when we take one so we substitute one in our gradient that will give us six uh, multiplied by one squared uh, plus six multiplied by one and that is going to give us 12 so the gradient so dy over dx is uh, positive and the nature of the positive gradient is like that so when the when the shape is like that this is minima so this is a uh, uh, minima so we can say at uh, at zero zero uh, the gradient is uh, the, the 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 stationary point is minima and at uh, at uh, one one this is uh, that point uh, the the gradient is maxima so that's how you uh, determine whether a point is minima or maxima and you get yourself three marks uh, that should not take you wrong it's only that uh, because i'm revising this question 
I should just take you um, maybe one minute or one and a half minutes to determine that. Part C, you are told to sketch the graph. And remember, we have said that uh, at uh, minus one, that is a turning point, at uh, that point, minus one, one, is, uh, we have said it is maxima, and at zero, zero, you have said it is, uh, this is uh, uh, maxima, and this is minima, as we have said uh, in the previous uh, part, so to sketch this remember note the word is to sketch so you are not expected to have a, a graph and uh, make the exact curve or it or it is not provided uh, if you check from the question so what you do is you you just make a sketch of the graph uh, so you you make a y and x axis uh, so we this is a, a zero uh, this is a can say this is minus one uh, and we can say this is a uh, one so the turning point one of the turning point is uh, there uh, and the other one is at zero zero so if you combine this you'll be able to come with a sketch of that graph so our graphs look like that uh, and that is the shape of uh, so what is expected here is just to show uh, the shape of the function, uh, the, the graph of the function uh, is a sketch and there you get yourself uh, uh, two marks. So that is what is expected from you and uh, it's a very simple question. See, if you just follow the pro right procedure, uh, you should be able to score maximum max, that is 10 marks. And uh, this kind of uh, question would boost your uh, score.